All right, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Celestial Body Science Editor mod, which is being made by form user DMagic. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks at into the game is a very handy little tool that allows you to actually edit the science multipliers for the various celestial bodies in the game. And this is actually quite a powerful tool if you you are in a science or career playthrough, as it could of course be used in quite a cheaty manner to make it so that a single experiment could give you all the science you could ever desire, or equally, you could make it so that you require doing more experiments to get the same uh, amount of science you used to get, or anything in between if you just simply want to balance out what you feel is a slight imbalance in a certain planet. And so it's, yeah, a pretty awesome tool. So let's talk about how it all does work. And it's a pretty simple mod, so it shouldn't be too long of a video here today. And to start it all up, we'll have to go down here to the bottom right-hand corner, where we have this new button, which, when pressed, will open up the Science Parameter Modifier. And this is our UI for this particular little mod. And it's quite a fun little tool. Now, we'll start at the top and work our way down. And, of course, the first option we have here is to choose the celestial body. And if I do actually flip between a few, you're going to notice that the middle section actually does change, with some areas having more or less options than others. And that is, of course, because places like Kerbin actually does have uh, experiments you can do when splashed in the water, flying low or high, or of course, you know, the low or high orbits, whereas, say, the moon only has those low or high orbits and landed. No oceans or flying there, so of course you don't need those different multipliers. Now let's actually stick with Kerbin because it does actually have all of the different science multipliers that we do need. And let's talk about this middle section, and these are the various multipliers themselves. Because whenever you are out there in the world and you run an experiment, that scientific equipment is always basically going to produce the same number, and then it depends on this multiplier here as to how much you're actually going to earn when you are, say, landed on Kerbin, as opposed to landed on Moho. You're going to get a different number, and that's what actually makes the science system sort of try and at least be balanced. And so in here, we can change those different multipliers for when you are landed on the surface, splashed down in an ocean, flying low or flying high, or of course in a low or high orbit. And you can see here, next to the different state, we have what the number is currently set to. So for landed, it's 0.3. And then here, we can actually change that value. So instead of, say, 0.3, you want to make it far more easy for yourself and change it to 1, or, well, even 10, or, well, not quite 100. You can see it does go red there, because that would be a bit too much, frankly. But yeah, say if you wanted to be a more reasonable 10, similar to like we saw earlier with Moho, well, you can make that change. Now, it won't actually take until you hit this Apply Values button down here. And so, like you did just see a moment ago, if we switch to another Celestial Body and back, it does revert. But once you do hit that Apply Values, well, that becomes the number here. And that's what that Science Multiplier is now going to be which is pretty cool. Now, below the different modifiers themselves, we actually do have the threshold for the flying and orbit multipliers. So basically, for Kerbin, anything below 18,000 meters is going to be the low, and anything above is going to be the high. And if you want, again, just like with the multipliers up here, you can change that number. And same deal with the space threshold. Anything below 250,000 meters is low orbit, anything above is high. And again, you can change that number to whatever you so desire. And once you have made the changes that you like, you just simply, as mentioned before, have to hit the Apply Values button, and you'll notice our numbers did in fact change over here. And so now, if we did run an experiment, 
we'd get 0.5 times the science rather than 0.3, which is pretty cool. Now the next two buttons we have are default values and stock values. And the difference between the two is the stock values are the values that the game itself comes with. So if we click on the stock values button, it's going to ask us, yes, okay, do you really want to do this? And if we hit confirm, it reverts all of the numbers back to what the game is intended to be doing. And on the other side, we have the default values, and that is actually something different. And it goes hand in hand with the final option here, save to config. The default values are whatever you have decided the default value should be. And that is determined by a config file in the mod folder. So say if you want to have, you know, you took the time to change your own uh, different numbers here so that you have your own custom science multipliers for the game. And that's what you always want to use when you are playing. They may not be wildly different from the stock values, but they are the values you like to use. Well, you can actually save that to the config file, and that will change the config file that exists in the mod folder. And if we confirm, that's now been edited. And say if we do start a new game and we're back to the stock values, to load up your config file, you just simply hit this default values button, and notice, we're back to those numbers we just changed. And that is a very cool thing to have. Again, if you do figure out your own personal balance that you like to have in the game, you can just make it your defaults for that config file and have fun. And just like with Kerbin, we can do that for any of the individual celestial bodies out there in the game. And it's just a very cool little tool. I really, really do like this thing. As I gotta admit, some of the planets I think give you a little bit too much or a little bit too little science when you do things there. And so, yeah, I'd like to be able to just slightly adjust them to my own personal liking. And of course, like I said, if you want to go full on cheating, oh boy, you can go full on cheating. But that is up to you. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.